What's up, Affordable Armory folks? How y'all doing? Today I got an exciting video for you. We're going to be talking about the Hellcat from Springfield Armory. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me so you'll find out when future videos come out. And before we get started, I'd like to thank Sumner Gun and Supply here in Gallatin, Tennessee for helping make this video possible. They're letting me use their facilities, letting me try out this pistol so I can give you guys more information. So I'll put a link below to their Facebook and website so you can find out more information. If you're in the North Nashville area, in Sumner County or Gallatin, Hendersonville, that type of area, stop by and check them out. I bought lots of pistols from them and uh, they're a great place to come and try out pistols, shoot some guns. So without further ado, let's unbox the pistol and then we'll head over to the range and we'll shoot it for a minute and then we'll come back and talk about what I think about the gun. Okay, so let's open up the box and find out what comes when you get the uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat. So, right on top, your normal Youth Handgun Safety Act notice. Comes with every gun, it seems like. On the top here, can't really read it. It says uh, Springfield Armory, Defend Your Legacy, blah, blah, blah. It's a bunch of marketing, branding, mumbo jumbo. And then you've got this lovely case here, which actually could come in handy, you know, for transporting to and from the range. We'll get to that in a second. Um, right here it says accessories. Open that up. And you've got a second magazine as well as a, looks like a flush fitting base plate if you want. That's kind of cool. Um, and of course you've got your standard issue lock that comes with every brand new pistol. And it looks like a bunch of paperwork. Let's open that up just out of curiosity. Yep, you got a user's manual. Um, got some uh, warranty information you got some save some money on buying another product all right so inside this little pouch here which like I said you could use this for transporting to and from the range it's kind of nice there is your pistol um, you've got a little accessory pouch here so maybe you stick the spare mag in there or something uh, other than that not a whole lot of storage but if you just want to stick your gun in something to take to and from the range and then stick that in your range bag there you go now as you can see I have the flat dark earth model here um, I'm assuming that's the color they call it it looks like flat dark earth maybe they call it tan or brown coyote whatever whatever flavor of brown they're calling it these days that's what color this is uh, it's got a chamber flag in it let me take that out real quick and uh, so you can see it is unloaded. I'll remove the magazine. So it does come with two of these. This one is 11 rounds. I believe the other one is 13 rounds with that extended base plate on it. So this is kind of their uh, one up to the Sig Sauer P365, which came with uh, 10 round magazines and um, same size pistol. As you can see, only really get two fingers on there. And then when you insert the magazine, Able, I'm actually able to get all three fingers on it. It's very nice. And while we're sitting here talking about it, let's go ahead and give an overall impression of it. I really like this grip texturing. That is nice. It's uh, semi-aggressive texturing. It's it's rough, but it's not too rough. It's, it's almost just the right amount of rough, I would say. And uh, they've even got it in the thumb groove there, which is nice. Got a nice extended magazine release here, which extends out from the frame. Very easy to reach over and push that. The magazine shoots right out. I'm loving these slide serrations. They go all the way over the top, at least on the rear. Um, you've got, unlike the Sig Sauer, you've got a standard Picatinny rail there, so you could mount a light if you wanted to. You've got what looks to be a flat face trigger, even though it's got a bladed safety, that is a flat trigger. And there's all of your take up right there. Not bad. And you go to press it and listen to that. I mean, that's a nice, crisp, clean break. Um, I have to say, I'm very impressed with at least dry firing the pistol. We'll have to see here in a minute when I go live fire it, but that felt really good. And then these sights, man, those look cool. Look at that. You got, uh, uh, if I can focus on it, maybe. Well, anyway, you can see that it's yellow. That's a night sight 
from the factory and then you've got this u-notch rear kind of unique but i think that will serve well as far as uh as far as maybe uh you know quick acquisition of your front sight your front sight focus um i typically prefer orange but i think yellow will serve a similar role it's kind of a uh, it's a little bit lighter so maybe harder to see in bright light than than orange but we'll see um so far, I like the feel of it. I also just noticed it has these uh, indentations with uh, texturing there for your for your finger on this side and for your thumb on the other side. Uh, so ergonomics of this thing, man, fantastic. Look at that and how slim that is there. Um, that's your takedown lever and that's your slide stop, slide release. No manual safety, which is fine. It's a striker fired pistol, so I don't necessarily need one. Um, also, no loaded chamber indicator. They do have a witness hole, so you can visibly inspect. This is a nice-looking gun, man. It's a nice flat face trigger that feels good. There's a little bit of finger grooves on here. It's got great texturing, nice slide serrations, cool-looking sights that I think are going to serve well. I think, you know, I don't own this gun or a Sig P365, but uh, I've shot the 365, and it's okay. I uh, pre kind of prefer the XL model in that regards, but uh, I think I, I would possibly buy this pistol. So let's go shoot it and find out. All right, here we go. I've got 10 rounds loaded in the magazine. I know it holds 11, but I mean, I'm shooting 10 rounds at a time. People have asked me about that before. Why do you only load? Because I like even numbers, all right? 10 rounds in the magazine. Springfield Hellcat. Here we go. Target is at five yards, just so you know. And I'm going to be aiming for the between the seven and eight, so high center mass. Not bad. Here we go. Ten more rounds. Alright, just because I've got a couple extra rounds left in this box, I'm going to go ahead and put it's like four rounds. I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off. So. so there's a target. Um, I would say that's pretty dang good accuracy. I know I said between the 7 and the 8. I was actually aiming right at the 7. Uh, that's just where I found myself aiming. Um, but that I was putting that yellow dot right on the 7. And um, as you can see, pretty good there's a few high a few low but the main grouping is you know right in there high center mass right where I was aiming so I'm pretty happy with that uh, again that's five yards and that's only 24 rounds through the gun having never shot it before so I feel like with a little bit of work putting dry fire practice with it and uh, coming to the range and putting 50 rounds here 50 rounds there um, to reinforce the dry fire practice you could very much improve on that but for the first 24 rounds out of the out of the gun, that's fantastic. I mean, especially for a micro-sized gun, which tend to be harder to shoot, um, that is very very good accuracy. So, what are my impressions of the Springfield Armory Hellcat? Man, I like this thing. Um, the ergonomics are great. It feels amazing in my hands. It's got nice slide serrations, really cool sights that were easy to pick up. It shot great. Uh, my point of aim, point of impact was pretty much right on point. Again, if I shoot it more, do some dry fire practice with it, I guarantee that it'll get even better. Um, I really like the feel of the trigger. The uh, 11 round and 13 round capacity is awesome. I like being able to get a full grip on it. And I really like this color, this uh, flat dark earth, coyote brown, tan, whatever color brown you want to call it. Um, I really like it so I gotta be honest guys I'm not gonna buy this one but I am going to buy one I want the optics ready model I didn't mention that earlier 
there are two models. So this is the standard model, and then there is one that comes with a plate so that you can mount a red dot on it. That's the model that I'm going to get, but I can highly recommend this pistol, guys. Um, if you like this pistol, go out and get one. Again, I want to thank Sumner Gun & Supply for making this video possible. Uh, they allowed me to try out this pistol so that you guys could find out more information about it. So thank you to them for helping the channel out. Again, if you're in the North Nashville area, Sumner County, Hendersonville, Gallatin, that type of area, stop by, check them out. They've got a wide variety of pistols to choose from. They've got a gun range so you can go shoot the pistols. And uh, as I said, I've bought several pistols here at the store. So I'll put a link below so you can check out their website and their Facebook. Again, if this is your first time here, click that subscribe button below, and that way you'll find out when future videos come out. As always, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. That's where all of our social media links are. We've got merch. We've got hats, t-shirts, and mugs, and all sorts of stuff. Um, and that's where all of our affiliate links are, so you can save yourself some money on something you were going to buy anyway and help out the channel in the process. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.